Hey guys, it's me, Moomin Papa, and I'm gonna show you a quick way to create a composite bot with three commas. Let me show you how to set that up. I have a separate account on Binance just for bot trading, and I suggest you do this as well so that way your funds don't get mixed up. So I don't have very much BTC, but I am trading a lot of BNB pairs. So I'm going to get rid of this, but I wanna choose all BNB pairings. Now, I have a bot open right now, which is why I don't have very much, but I can, just by default, I can click there and see all of the BT, sorry, BNB pairings right there. And then I can go through and no, I don't want this one. No, I don't want this one for whatever reason. Um, or you can decide, boy, I don't want all of these. And you can say, well, I just want to use, I don't know, BCN and I only want, you can just go through and click and make your multi-bot and you can choose as many as you want. It's that easy. The next decision you have to make is how many max active deals do you want? How many deals or how many open trades do you want running at the same time? This depends on how many you have. I mean, if you have all the coins, what is that? That's something like a hundred or so coins. I don't know if you want to have a hundred open at the same time, but you could, it's, it's up to you. So you can decide based on all of these that you want to have 20 active deals at the same time. And we're long, which means we're going to buy low and sell high. And we can choose how we want to profit. This is interesting. We can choose to profit in the quote currency, which is in this case, Binance coin, BNB, or we can choose to profit in the base currency. For this purpose of doing a multi-bot, for BNB related coins, let's just choose the quote currency because my end goal with this bot, composite bot, is to make more BNB. I have to choose how much I want to make as a base trade size. That means the minimum amount that it's gonna put on every trade. And then the safety trade size, that's the amount that I'm going to buy when the price goes lower for every single deal that's going on. Because this is a multi-bot, you want to have a very low take profit percentage, like 0.5%. This might sound so stingy and you might disagree with me, but between 0.5 to 1% is actually safer because you're doing a huge spread of coins right now. Like I said, it's like a list of like 100 coins. So what you want is you want to be getting profits popping all over from these coins that are making good movements. As prices fluctuate and you take on safety trades as it goes down, you want that take profit price to move down too. So that as you take on more, you get more out of your trade when it corrects and it goes back up to sell. Max safety trades count. This is going to be a little bit tricky because it depends on how much you want to have open. With these current settings, the default setting of 20 max safety trades is a lot. That means it's going to be taking um, 20 active deals times 20 max safety trades it's a lot like that's a lot of BNB I don't have that much so that seems like a crazy amount but maybe for you it's not but that's fine um but let's just make this more like 10 so that means with our price deviation that it's going to take on 10 percent at once so we have 220 that we need and I do not have that much but it's okay just explaining it for you guys so The next thing we want to decide is at what percentage do we want to open up a safety trade? And that's what we decide here with the slider. It can be as little as 0.2% or as much as 10%. I think that choosing an amount bigger than your take profit percentage is actually a safer idea. So we'll just leave this set to one. And now we can use this slider, the safety order volume scale to decide if we want to back load or front load our bot. What that means is do we want to save our BNB safety orders and put more on the back side of the trades 
meaning that as you buy, you're only adding a little bit each time. But as you get up to the 10th step, then you're putting on a lot more onto that 10th step. It's incrementally growing, exponentially rather is the word I'm looking for. So you can also front load it, which means that you're putting on more size initially and then you're backing off as you get to the higher steps. Good trading practice would say that you might want to do the backloading method, but it just depends on your style and what you're comfortable with. You're going to want to mess with these settings to figure out something that works well and something that also meets how much you have and also your trading style. Now here's the fun part. You can designate out of all of these coins, it's only going to start trades for coins that have a trading volume more than this set amount in a 24 hour period. Why is this good? Well, because you don't want to be trading the smaller volume coins. Maybe you do, maybe you don't care. Maybe you want to trade all of them. So you would, you're okay with just working with 10 BTC trading, 24 hour trading volume. Maybe you want to be a little bit safer and trade only the coins that have a higher volume on a 24 hour period. Then you're going to want to make this more like 100 BTC. It depends on the exchange and the coin as well. So there's that. Um, you can also decide if you want to add a stop loss and at what percentage do you want the stop loss to enable. And the cool down between, between deals, how much time you want to wait for each deal to open. The next thing you want to tell the bot is when to start a trade. So you can choose from these options, these five, Telegram, TradingView, QFL, Manual, or TradingView custom signals. We're just going to choose trading view and we're going to choose a composite buy. That's just an easy one to do and to set up. So that means that after the composite, meaning the multiple buy signals have been met, it's going to send a signal to the bot. And when one of these coins in this mix, or rather 20 at once, are doing this thing, then it's going to open up 20 at once. That's as simple as it gets. So another tip I have for you is when you're looking for coins, maybe you don't know what to look for necessarily. So you could just go to Binance. I mean, we're trading on Binance anyway. So just by looking at Binance, I can see here, I can look at the top 10 coins with the most volume, the 24 hour volume, or I can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I could just choose these 10, or I could also look at the 24 hour change and decide on these, but Personally, I stick with volume. So looking at volume, I'm going to choose, not that, here we go. I'm going to choose Nano, Vet, Neo, Iota, Idea. And note that this is going to change. The market is living and breathing and moving and changing all the time. But this is just another method of looking for coins that might be good movers that have a lot of volume and that'd be great in a, in a composite bot for you. After you've decided what coins you want to use, create the bot. And don't forget to start the bot. You'd be surprised. So I can see my multi-awesome bot that's going to be looking for trading opportunities for all these coins. It tells me all of my settings. And I just have to click start. And that's it. And I can monitor how it goes. And I can go to my deals and watch it rake in the profit for me while I sleep. And that's really how it works. Well, that's it for this video today. I hope that you got enough out of it so that way you can start raking in the BTC, ETH, BNB, USDT, YU, SLEEP. All right, guys, stay awesome and stay in the green. Peace.